What's up, guys? It's your girl Zeta Lisa, and let's slide into this topic real quick. It looks like Mark Curry is in these internet streets discussing all things Diddy, but what you guys don't know is he's already been telling the streets, we just wasn't listening. In a 2009 book called Dancing with the Devil, Mark Curry goes into the specifics with his relationship with Kim, the industry, other artists, his lovers. He tells it all. So we're going to play book club in a second. But before we do, let me give you the real. So it looks like Puff had Kim Porter's phone tapped. When he tapped Kim Porter's phone, he came across a private conversation between Shakir Stewart and Kim Porter. It looks like Diddy was mad because he happened to be at L.A. Reid's wedding and he thought it was the perfect time to show Mr. Stewart them hands. So let me read you exactly what happened. Shakir knew that Puff never confronted anyone without backup, so he was afraid to defend himself. He tried to explain to Puff that he and Kim were only friends and that he was joking around when he left the message. But he also told Puff that he had no business trying to run the life of a woman that he repeatedly abandoned. Puff called him a liar and other explosives, then picked up the chair and clobbered Shakir with it. As Shakir crumbled to the floor, Puff ran away from the hotel with his guards and returned back to his hotel room. Reed was furious when he discovered how Puff had attacked Shakir at his wedding, no less. He knew that Puff was under a lot of pressure from the pending trial, but nothing justified this attack. The incident became a turning point in their friendship. Reed finally understood why Benny Medina had concluded that Puff was out of control and incorrigible. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.